welcome back to the Ibabaji channel and you are watching uh, third part of this tutorial series in this tutorial series we are creating e-commerce website using ASP.NET MVC framework in the previous session we uh, create login form for the admin panel and now we discuss about the dashboard page before creating dashboard page we create first session what is session actually session define communication duration for any person it's me what is communication duration definition actually uh, when an admin is login then how system understand which person is login and what time login and no it is login also already yeah it's mean uh, the admin is no logout or login for this reason we create session session actually uh, tell the website which person is login and no person is logout for the session oh, we write here session keyword first and then write the name of session i'm using here as admin sorry caps lock admin and value of the session is admin dot email email actually i am using for the admin session and now uh, create action result for the dashboard page action result dashboard and return view uh, now uh, return view of the dashboard is disabled when no admin login how, pro how uh, this is possible write if a statement if session admin is equal to null if session null then return a redirect to action redirect to action login of the admin and else condition return view of dashboard now uh, the dashboard page for the admin I'm using product entry it's mean that when uh, the admin login then dashboard is open then dashboard page is open and admin add different products so click on the dashboard and add view uh, select here create and create product and select layout page this is layout and click to add now dashboard is open and when I click on Google Chrome then dashboard is opening but when session is equal to null then automatically redirect to login page of the admin see login page is open 
now admin at gmail.com and one two three four five i think is the password click to login and now dashboard page is open now uh, first of all we uh, create layout page for the admin panel uh, for this I'm uh, searching here actually bootstrap sidebar menu and select this one this is different type of dashboard no if click here then this type of click here if click here then this type of then this type of uh, for this this is actually HTML code and this is CSS code and this one is uh, overlay push content actually I'm using here this one to one first of all go to VS Studio and create layout page in the share add new item and search layout and layout page admin Layout select now layout page is open and this page and just copy this link to admin. And also this one script to side of admin control C and control V. This is script code. then copy this HTML code and paste this here inside the body tag and this render body where our child page display just put here in the main division and remove this division actually okay and now go to chrome and copy this whole CSS code and copy this one and here I'm creating one CSS 
file in content add new item style this is style sheet and right name here mm. site menu style okay and just paste all CSS code here and also just add this CSS in this side menu and also change here layout page okay I think admin admin layout now click on Google Chrome admin at gmail.com and one two three four five is the password click and then this page is open when I click on sorry at uh, also javascript code just go on google chrome and this is javascript code control c and here open script file add new item script javascript and write uh, sidebar menu dot yes add and control v paste and also add to sidebar menu in the layout page section now run the page and check either sidebar menu is working or not admin at gmail.com one two three four five is the password then login if click open then dashboard sidebar menu is working uh, wait 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 uh, I am here select open button in admin panel and add 
सी एस एस क्लास बेटियन 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 डॉट बेटियन डेंजर इज ओके नो प्रॉब्लम एंड हेयर एंड यू मैन नो सेव एंड रिफ्रेश द पेज वेन आई क्लिक मेन्यू then menu is open and when i click cross the menu is open in the next tutorial we uh, design dashboard page and then uh, set validations and then code back then back in coding that how insert data inside the database thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel and share the video link and sorry for the late this video okay thank you bye and good night